Good morning, Bitcoins, and welcome to Mad Bitcoins. How to create accounts, starting with Gmail. Navigate to gmail.com. Click create an account. Type in your first and last name. Create an account name. Create a password. I just happen to have a password right here. Then input your birthday. Input your gender. I choose not to input my mobile phone. We'll see how that goes. Type the CAPTCHA and agree to the Gmail privacy policy. Welcome test to Gmail. And now I have Gmail. To add two-factor authentication to your Gmail account, click the small arrow next to your account name in the upper right-hand corner. Click the button that says Account. Once you're at myaccount.google.com, scroll down to where it says Signing In. Two-step verification is currently listed as Off. Follow the cartoony directions and start setup. Two-factor authentication requires your phone number. Google is requiring my phone number for two-factor authentication. I don't agree with this step. I think it's possible they could just let me use the Google Authenticator app, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and give it to them. Google claims that they've sent a text message to my phone, and they have. Enter the message that you receive on your phone. You could even use a burner phone for this, or a disposable phone number. Actually, I should find a website online that lets you get free text. I should put that in here. Press Verify. Leave the setting on to trust your computer, if it is your home computer. If it's not, uncheck the box. Turn on two-step verification. Your Gmail account is now more secure. To take over your Gmail account, an attacker would need your password and your mobile phone or the ability to intercept your texts. Let's go one step further and get the Gmail Authenticator app. Install the Gmail Authenticator app on your iPhone or Android device through the App Store. Simply search for Google Authenticator. Once you have Google Authenticator, we can go to the verification codes switch to app section. Switch to the Authenticator app. Tell Google what type of device you're using. Now right here this has totally exposed my barcode. So this barcode is Authenticator. So if you save or print a copy of this barcode for later you could log back in. So I'll be blurring this barcode. But for now all you do is follow the instructions. In the Google Authenticator app Click plus, then click scan barcode to scan the barcode. Scan it just like you would any other QR code. I don't know why they're calling it a barcode, it's a QR code. Then input the code. Don't worry about the time, just type the code. The codes are still good for a couple minutes after. Verify and save. Once you've done this, your Google account is now linked to your Google Authenticator software on your phone. The attacker would now need to take over your phone and use Google Authenticator app to break into your Google account. This has been Mad Bitcoins, how to set up your Gmail account and two-factor authentication using either text message or Google Authenticator app. Check the links below for more info.